What's going on guys, Billy here, and today we're going to be putting the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Duel to the test in what I believe is its strongest use case scenario, and that is search and rescue. Now I made a video a couple of weeks ago about the use case scenarios of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Duel, but I wanted to give search and rescue its own separate video because I think it is an important topic, and also I think this is one of the best drones to get the job done. Before we get into how this thermal camera can be of help during search and rescue missions, we should look at the aircraft itself. The specs that make it so good for work like this are its flight time of 31 minutes, which means you don't have to waste time to keep landing and swapping batteries. Its range of 5 miles over OcuSync 2.0 is also helpful because you can fly further with less interference. And the final thing that makes this the ultimate search and rescue tool is its size and ease of use. It fits in a small case that can be transported easily and set up easily. Larger thermal systems like the Matrice with the X-T2 camera are a lot more bulky. The attachments on the top are also incredibly helpful on search and rescue operations as you can use the light beacon for nighttime flight, the spotlight to easily spot people or objects with the color camera in low light situations, and the speaker lets you communicate with a person who is stranded. That speaker is actually pretty loud and I did some testing with this in a video I made specifically on the Mavic 2 Enterprise attachments, so let me play that for you really quickly so you can get a feel for how loud that thing actually is. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise speaker attachment. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise speaker attachment. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise speaker attachment. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise speaker attachment. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise speaker attachment. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise speaker attachment. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise speaker attachment. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise speaker attachment. All right, now let's get into the camera, and this is the one thing that made me really excited about checking out this drone, because I know a lot of people are bummed out saying that it's a lower resolution than they would like, but I've got to say that through my testing, it does a great job at picking up heat signatures, especially from higher altitudes. Now, there is one thing that I want to cover before we get into these examples, and that is the isotherm settings. You want to make sure that when you're conducting a search and rescue operation, that you have your isotherm settings set properly. That is the high and the low temperature visible through the colors you see on the screen, because if you don't, you're going to have a much lower chance at finding the person that you're looking for. For example, here I am laying out in the middle of my yard with the drone close to 300 feet in the air. Now, first of all, you can barely see me because the resolution of this camera isn't the best, but also everything around me is a bright gray color. I basically blend in. Now, as I adjust the isotherm settings, the colder area surrounding me turns to black, which makes spotting an object like a human being much easier. DJI includes an isotherm preset within their pilot app, which sets the low temperature to 80 degrees and the high temperature to 105 degrees as seen by the screenshot but sometimes I find that even that doesn't work in certain shooting scenarios for various reasons it could be the surrounding area or even the current weather conditions your best bet when flying this drone is to put it up above you in order to calibrate the isotherm setting so put it up in the air at the altitude that you'll be flying calibrate that high and low temperature according to what the conditions are like where you're flying make sure that you can see yourself properly and then go on about your mission so so that you have the best bet, the best chance at finding the person that you're looking for. Now, you might be wondering what a person looks like through a thermal camera, especially with the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Duel, and right now, we are going to answer that. This first set of examples was taken during the day, and at a height of 40 feet, you can easily see me even without the thermal reading. I am perfectly outlined and show a heat signature whether I'm standing upright, whether I am sitting crouched down over on the ground, or whether I am laying out on my back. Chances are, if you are running a search and rescue drone operation though, you're gonna be flying at a higher altitude, but I just wanted to use this example as a baseline. Now next up is at 100 feet in the air, and even from this height, you can see me pretty well when I'm standing upright, when I'm sitting crouched over on the ground, 
or when I'm laying out down on my back. Being higher up can allow you to cover more ground and I feel like right at around 100 feet is the sweet spot because if we go any higher say to 300 feet as I already showed you guys, this drone is pretty much no help. Most of the trees around my area are about 120 feet high so I can stay right above the tops and that got me thinking, what would I look like from the thermal camera through a bunch of trees? My initial tests didn't go that well because of my isotherm settings and this is a key example of what I was telling you guys about earlier. The spots being picked up on the ground are big puddles of water and I pretty much blend right in. I'm not sure if it was just my area but I think that overall during the day it will be your best bet to just use the higher resolution color camera. The resolution just isn't high enough on the thermal camera to compete with the sun so in these daytime scenarios I'd probably say that the Mavic 2 Enterprise Zoom would be a better choice than the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. Now let's move on to the nighttime examples which you guys are seeing right here on the screen. From a height of 60 feet you guys can perfectly see the top of my head as I'm standing upright. You can also see me even better when I'm sitting crouched over and when I'm laying out you can almost perfectly make out my silhouette. The same is true when I go up even higher to 150 feet. You can see me perfectly as I'm standing up. You can see me even better as I'm crouched over and as I lay out it's still almost perfect. During the daytime you probably wouldn't be able to make me out from this height because of the low resolution but because my body is so much warmer than the ground that I'm on it's really easy to spot me. I even headed out to the woods and the results at nighttime are so much better from a height of about 120-ish feet. I'm standing here with my dad and you can see both of our heat signatures perfectly. Even if I'm flying over the top, scanning the area, moving with my drone, you'll be able to see both of us standing down on the ground as we are warmer than the surrounding trees and leaves. So guys, that's about all that I have for this video. I hope that you enjoyed. Feel free to let me know down in the comment section if you have any questions about this drone or search and rescue, but I think that overall this drone was built perfectly for search and rescue because of its size, ease of use, and that price point. I mean, I think that law enforcement agencies will be able to come in, scoop up a couple of these, and have them on a couple of the different squad cars or or however they're running their operations in order to use them to find people or suspects. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.